Ah, oh, gross. It's one of those creepy wooden dolls. Yeah, but I need it to draw. I am an artist, you know. Okay. Just as long as it's not haunted. Nah, I can't promise that. I bought it used. Oh, look. The thing's moving on its own. This thing's definitely haunted. Yeah, but... It's got some moves, though. Damn, those are some slick moves. I guess these creepy wooden puppets are all right. Hey everyone, welcome to Ill Bleed episode four. Off the jump, I gotta make, uh, I gotta make a confession. You can't grind in ill bleed it doesn't let you replay levels maybe after you beat the game i don't know so off screen i went through and i beat the first two levels again we're going to rectify the mistake we did in the past what we're going to do now is with our money invested better we're just going to beef up erico and no one else because fuck those other scrubs Chris, this is an erico run you you leveled off screen yeah that's fine. Thank you for being honest. You're welcome. It's Halloween, so I would actually like to say I leveled off screen. And I think I'm happy on Halloween. I okay. got a bunch of surgery. So I'm building up her blood. We've seen this fucking thing before. Get out of here, Eriko. So I everyone got blood else, surgery. Everyone else is shit out of luck as far as surgery is con concerned. So if Erico dies, uh, oops. If Erico dies, we're gonna be left with the scrub patrol. Basically, they're like the putties from Power Rangers. They're gonna die in one hit. So with our remaining money, we're gonna buy some goods for the next level. Uh, I think we've learned that we, we bleed a lot. But I don't want to buy coagulants. I just want to buy mid-range blood items. So get eight of those. He doesn't want band-aids. He wants scars. Let's get two of these. A couple of these. And then the other thing that we have a problem with is just our heart rate going crazy. And then let's get a couple of these. Okay. Okay, I think I think that's enough items, right? We have enough drugs. Let's get out of here. So let's find out what the next level is. Andy, I want you to take a guess. We've we've been in a sea haunted world. hotel. Okay, without any <laughs> without any pretext, it's, Zoo World is Andy's guess. I said Sea World. Oh, you said Sea World. We're we're going to Dracula. Nope. Oh my God, it's it's a chopping. Mo it's Donner Donner Cashman, Donner Mark Cashman Gibson. in Killer S Department S Store. Did Steak Man? Do you think this is? Wait, was that Cuddy Mary? So are these supposed to be movies or rides? I can't tell. Like what? Because if they're just supposed to be rides, why are their credits like a movie? Are we in the Donald? Oh. The Donald place that there was a big blowout sale going on at the Cashman department store, which needed something to bail it out of heavy debt. Triple H, what seemed like a sale, was actually a deadly disguise for a mass murder by store manager Donald Cashman. Late stage capitalism bad business, he killed all of the customers and stole their money and valuables in his warped mind. In his warped mind, he did the game leave in a bad take? He couldn't make enough money in sales. Sorry, that's capitalism. But it just works. What? Just kill everybody. When the police arrived and figured things out, they shot Cashman on sight. With a rocket launcher, in terror, But it didn't. The sheer power of Cashman's hatred and his ruthless obsession with money brought him back to life as a horrible monster. Just like He's Walt still Disney. still making products, but this time he breathes evil into them. Turning Please the don't breathe on my monsters groceries. themselves, who suck up a customer's money and soul. Cashman's out there somewhere. 
waiting for the next customer as he secretly sits in a safe counting his money. The cash needs to learn where it's at is making DLC for video games. That's how you suck up someone's money. Like remember when I used to play that Smurfs game on the iPad? I'm $100,000 in debt. To the challengers! Punish Cashman who crept up here from hell for money! <laughs> Banish him from this world forever. Be aware that he does not notice people who do not have a certain amount of money. Oh no, did we just spend all our money? We have to have money. Uh, I love that he crept up here from hell for money. Well, he and said- like a fool! Before the gates of heaven, I'll come crawling back for money. This time, the prize money is awarded to you beforehand. We don't mind, though. If your money is stolen by Cashman and the evil goods in the store. I thought there was more to that. That's why I read that sentence wrong. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a comma. So we start off with $150,000. That's going to get us some primo surgery. So who should we take with us? Uh, I'm, th I'm thinking Kevin. Randy. Nah. Uh -huh. We're taking the only good character in. Oh, I don't like that camera at all. Let's get back to classic camera. Ooh, there's a trap, but I don't have my ghost detector. Okay, got a caution bomb. A flyer. Total amount is one million dollars. Cash back sale today. If you buy a hundred dollars or more, you will get one hundred dollars back. Don't miss this opportunity. Many people are expected to rush the sales floor. We ask you to get a ticket at the entrance and enter an order. When you go back, please follow the floor attendant who will guide you to the exit. The white zone is for loading and unloading. Please note that you may not be able to enter unless you have a lot of cash. Department stores of... Conscience? That's conscience? <laughs> Department stores of conscience... We treasure all our customers. Cashman Department Store. Bring your wife. We'll fuck her. Ah, booyah. Horror monitor. Off the bat. Is that guy jump. reading Bleach? I don't want to hang out with this dude. He's a corpse. And, uh... Not to be a little prejudiced, but almost every run-in I've had in the past has been similar when it comes to these... Actually, you know what? It's all been the same guy. It's all been this dude. Cool. Okay, it still says there's something here. Oh, suicide. This is sad. Mr. Cashman, please let me apologize for not being able to satisfy your intention. Please blame me as assistant manager for the failure of the Cashman department store. Therefore, I will kill myself to compensate for the failure. About the memo with the location of the hidden safes, I disposed of it in the garbage, so please don't worry. If there's any chance, please let me help you again as assistant manager of the Cashman department store in the next life. Let us elevate ourselves to become the richest in Nebraska, which is, I guess, heaven in this world. Bye for now. It's been an exciting 38 years of my life. Lastly, I would like to praise the Cashman Department Store. Long live Cashman and the store. Regards, Edward Gibson. Memo to myself. Do the dumb things I gotta do. Touch the puppet head. Killed myself. <laughs> That's not how the song goes. That's my version of the song. Whoa, did you hear that sweet jump? Another note. This room's just full of notes. I hid it in the trash. Don't worry. The first safe's in the grass. Oh, fuck. First safe in grass. Second safe for Mary. Both near a man-eating ghost. <laughs> a large evil spirit eats money by the third safe. 
Hey, I, uh, I buried it by the ghost. Oh, all right. The name of this evil spirit is the federal government. Am I right? So, Scooby-Doo rule, right? Yeah. These are all brown. This one's silver. Oh, I thought you meant Scooby-Doo rule. It's going to be a guy in a mask. No. And I'm like, Chris, this is like the third or fourth actual crazy ghost oh, we fought. What about the head? There's a head. Uh, I guess you I'm actually that. very shocked that that's not haunted. It's just a head. Okay. Is there anything else in this room? Heads that aren't severed are haunted. All people are haunted by their own ghost. I'm haunted by my mistakes that I've made in the past. Mostly starting a Let's Play channel and spending all my money on it. Mo! The game froze as if to agree with me. Mummy popcorn. Dummy popcorn. Dummy popcorn? Dummy popcorn. Does that mean it is like the official popcorn of Dummy Man? That yeah. hit movie that's out right now? Or is it fake popcorn? It's actually like just rocks they painted yellow. No wonder this fucking store went out of business. I don't. You wouldn't go to a place called Hell Candy? It's got sweet tooth. Stink. If you've got a sweet tooth, <laughs> buy some Hell what? Candy. It's the one behind My you. My money! It just took four grand from me. And it spit farts out of its mouth. And now I'm bleeding. I bet on the wrong clown, I guess. Damn it. This one's actually hard. Ah, another branded candy. It's the Residence Chew. Oh, they've got cum balls. <laughs> I, I, I hope Cartoon Network takes that cartoon off the air. We're not doing too hot. No! Jesus Christ, this thing is taking all my money. Okay, six cents. So it's, it's gonna be something good or it's gonna be a mannequin who beats the shit out of us. Had to open my fat mouth. That's a mannequin that's gonna beat the shit out of us. I forgot how to play. You gotta dodge. So I learned this out while replaying though. Um, dodging though raises your heart rate. So if your heart rates, if you're close to a heart attack, sometimes you just want to take the punch to the face. This game is made by a fucking crazy person. Who can pay attention to all this at once? The Japanese. Us Westerners, we don't understand. We need them to release ill bleed baby mode. If you see a purple mushroom, it'll kill you. I don't think I'm making out of this level alive, folks. I think Erica might be going down. Or she'll just be poor. The same difference. Hold on. I don't want to use one of my coagulants just yet, so I'm just going to have a salad. If I just stand still after a few seconds. Okay, let's get serious here. About haunted candy. So that gumball was haunted. That one was not. I'm smelling something bad. So far, this has just been a candy and popcorn store. Mostly candy. I'm gonna be fucking poor by the end of this level. I'm already, already having a heart attack. This game is rough. 
dog rough. Okay. Got my heart rate down. Maybe this is a new challenge for Phasmophobia. See if we can play this game while activating every single trap. Okay. I don't trust Shark Stew or whatever the hell that is. That's Damage Black. I didn't even have a chance to... I'm actually getting angry. <laughs> like, I'm actually getting angry as I play this. Is that Worm? Worm soda? Worm soda. Like a Futurama. That slurm. Oh, you're right. Wimmy wham wham wazzle! You're drinking worms. You're drinking worms, Michael. Later, do you want to play worms? Hey, Michael. You want to play this new game? It's called Scorched Earth. Oh, this is pretty cool. You're playing worms, Michael. No! <laughs> Now let's play Metal Gear Solid 5 for no reason. Cool. cool. What the fuck? Oh no. Oh, hold on, something smells bad. That's a killer cock? It smells buh. <laughs> Some oh, brain? Natural brain. No, that artificial brain. Has soy and it makes you a cock. I feel dirty for saying that. Hello. Uh, hi, I'm the cake from hell. <laughs> but I need something more to be a complete cake. A cake I'd be proud to be. I feel like the top of my head needs something glorious, or should I say, glorious to crown me. What do you have that I could wear as a decoration? Hmm? My ass. Here, take my horror monitor. Oh wait. Uh do you do you think he wants the head? Yeah. He said Gorius. Ew, I passed the severed head? She needs to start drinking more water. Oh yeah. This is just what I needed. Just what I needed! Complete at last. It's been eight minutes. Thanks to you, I'm complete again. Why not take me with you? This head makes me look so fabulously fiendish, darling. By the way, for great strength and energy, why not take a bite of me? Ever see a cake that could take a bite out of you? Okay, haunted hamburger. I'm putting all my money on it. There's no way that hamburger's not evil. Knew it. Oh, it's ketchup, but it's actually blood. That's Dairy Man's hot dog. Please don't eat my hot dog. <laughs> I brought that from home. This is my hot dog. It's my calculator, too. I'm doing the ketogenic thing. I gotta see how many calories this hot dog is. Can't have carbs. Any of them. Oh, something stink around here. Ah, uh, yes. Yellow curry flavored ice cream, my favorite. Okay, I also don't trust that pile of goo. But, no, the game is telling me that pile of goo is trustworthy. Ooh, cool. Sweet! Shit! Rug burn! Uh... I... I didn't pick up any weapons at this level yet. Shit. Yeah, I don't like how you have to pick up a weapon every level. They don't transfer. I also learned items don't transfer either after you beat a level, even if you bought the items before entering the level. So... Yeah, I shouldn't be so cavalier... Cavalier! With, uh, holding onto my items. Give me that straw bar. 
Hell yeah. Okay, see, I think this is actually a Japanese translation error. Um, there's devil's food cake, but they've accidentally translated that to hell cake. Uh, also, devil's food cake is supposed to be a chocolate cake, where this is a strawberry flavored, and it's sentient and has a mouth and teeth and a, a human head on top of it. So I'm not crazy when I say that this doesn't feel like organically feel like a grocery store. Like the 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 floor plan's all messed up. It seems like they took like a a military facility from Winback and then just stuck a bunch of groceries in it. None of these tables have food. There's gotta be something here. Don't do it, Erico. Those are dummy man's profits. Ah, Hase! Dummy Man owns as much as fucking Disney. Wow, we've lost a lot of money. Nothing in the trash cans? Not even a hamburger? So, those holes on the ground. I guess not. My I think that's just tile. Okay. I thought spikes were going to shoot up. Ooh. Chicken. I like chickens, Eddie. I P -p -p like pork. Pork. Oh, could it be the gruesome hands coming up from the floor? Oh wait, no, I think those are just beats. Oh, it's a... He farted money onto us. So I'm never shopping at this goddamn store again. You're never shopping at the store where the guy locks people in and murders them and takes all their money? I mean, it sounded appealing at first. I mean, I would get $100 back for every $100 I spent. I had a debit card that did that once, but it's just because it was a debit card I stole from someone. Okay, random cow skull. I don't trust you one fucking lick. You can tell you're supposed to grab this meat because it's rendered and it's not a, a JPEG. <laughs> Oh, I thought this was a Dreamcast game, but apparently we're playing this on a PS4 because it's full of roaches! Maybe he'll be nice like James and the Giant Peach. I can't attack it because I'm not in combat. And you're not tall enough. But I can talk- Oh! Feed meat to the cockroach! Uh, does he like beef? A rave review. I want more meats. Waspinator requires more meat so he can defeat Optimus Primal. Cockroach enjoyed the meat, uh, was Captain Beefheart's last album. I want more meat. And some chicken. Is there fish? I was out of meat! You jerk! Well, if you give a roach a chicken... Hold on, let me see if I get more of that meat. Because my sixth sensor wasn't... Can, it looks like you can go behind the counter on the other one. Hold on, I have a theory. Can I just... Can I brick the game by just filling up... Oh, no. Okay. So I can go behind- you're right, I can go behind the counter. Maybe it has like- Just cockroaches love beef. 
a note. I'm Michael Cashman Sr. I left my prized cockroaches behind when I passed away. They love beef, but they hate chicken. Also, I think they drink nail polish, so they'll turn into giants using this game's logic. Can I eat the beef? I can eat the beef! Hell yeah, we're gonna go back and get... Oh, shit, I triggered his meat radar. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna get more beef. Cause that last guy wanted at least four. So let's get some chicken too. Where's the pork? Pork's first one, I think. Oh yeah, cause it farted on us. Oh, I guess second. Okay. Hopefully this will be enough. If not, I can take the hit. I can just go back and eat the meat, so it's not that big of a, of a deal. But I'm worried about my heart rate going up. Well, don't eat too much steak then. <laughs> if only I listened to that advice ten years earlier. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, he just wanted one piece? Yep. You know what? I feel him, man. He's on a diet. That other guy was on, he was on the keto diet. That's why he wanted all the meat, but that guy, you know, he's just doing a low carb, low sodium diet. Can't eat too much meat. He's got to worry about his heart rate. This joke's not working. Hi there. Welcome to Mr. Meat Steakhouse. Hey, I see you brought your own meat. BYOM. You can grill it up right here on my good old grill. Takes a lot of doing to cook all that meat, mind you. I'll make sure you're well done, too. What you waiting for? Get you and your meat up on the now, you hear? That's what she said. I wish that's what she said. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god! My greed has come back to haunt me. I ain't getting any chicken. And, uh, I don't have any weapons. We must have missed something earlier. There's no way they wouldn't have given us a weapon. It is ill bleed. It is ill bleed. I'm gonna punch this beef. You just gotta slash the beef. I gotta beat that meat. Slash beef? Slash beef. Andy, I don't have a knife. I just got fists. Fuck! This is like the hardest boss in the game! Also, shouldn't my- like the soles of my shoes be burning? <laughs> no, because she bought these at Payless Shoe Store and they sell a fine quality product. When they're still in business. And now I think about it, they might have gone out of business. Like every business in America. They got- they went out of business because their shoes burn too easily. <laughs> I'd be really concerned if I went to a restaurant and they're like, oh, you brought your own meat, grill it up. It's like, so are you, you're just a giant oven? <laughs> also, Mr. Meat Steakhouse sounds like this place is a front for the CIA. <laughs> this meat beats you. <laughs> See, the, the P is for pig. So, We've almost died to meat, echoing how I'm probably going to die in real life. Ah, oh, you f What if you don't have to hit them and you just have to wait for them to grill? You might be right. I might have just doomed us. Why is it blue? Like that. Fortunately, I am very skilled at butt punching. Got it. Oh man, look how much that took out of me. Well, well, well. You're pretty good. Thanks to you, I can't get any more special orders of meat. 
That's just great. No more meat. And no use for you, that's for sure. So scram! How dare you patronize my establishment and cook all the meat that you brought from home that somehow makes it impossible for me to get more meat even though we have established that there are several tons of meat in the next room. Oh no. Oh no. One more time. Okay, we're gonna try that again. This time we're not gonna be greedy. We're not gonna be greedy little pigs. But also we're gonna backtrack because uh, Andy pointed out that we did walk by a hallway and there's probably stuff in the hallway we needed. Pumpkin brain, onion. Cookie cemetery. That's not how you spell cookie. It's kooky. Cake castle. Oh my god, do we get swords? I hope so. Welcome you to Kooky Cake Castle. We've been expecting you. There are three traps? That's crazy. The game is no longer fucking around. Gimme cake! Or sword. Either one's good. Okay, what could be around here? By the way, I I was wondering if this was a glitch or not, but I'm I'm hearing that there's like a weird breath sound in the soundtrack, so it's gonna make editing this video hard later. Oh, maybe it's like a ghost or like spraying perfume because this is a, de a department store and I'm scared of human interaction, so. Oh no, it's all the bread I'm not allowed to eat because I'm on the keto diet. Be gone, delicious specter. I miss traditional sandwiches. Corn, no, blood corn. The ghost soup bar. Ghost soup. <laughs> this is the dumbest game ever made. Whoa! It's pumpkin hair. Goodbye to Peter Pumpkin Hair. I mean, I once went to the salad bar at a Wendy's and there was a big strand of hair in the and you know in the Caesar salad, so I feel you. That is a pretty frightening experience. I'm just gonna take a guess that the giant bread shaped like a skull is a bad guy. I don't think that's a skull. There's like there's a dog, but that's a that's a skull. Please get closer to it. Okay. Yeah, see? It's freaky, like there's ridges around the Does mouth. Does it say lovely cash? On the Love, wall. Lovely cash. That's <laughs> dummy man. I see you, dummy man! I ain't falling for your trickery. Dummy Man's a frickin' pervert, by the way. He just loves planting his face between buns. What? So, uh, I guess Red Pyramid came here to the ghost soup bar to pick up some, uh... Well, he ate all the brains and onion. Bastard. Oh no, they, they got some more. I swear to God, I see better Halloween puns out of Joanne's fabric than this place. Like, <laughs> welcome to Hell Made Bakery. We put the word hell on our sign. Ooh. And we serve Hellman's mustard. Okay, this time we're gonna be we're gonna be careful. We're not gonna get too much meat. We're not gonna get greedy. Hey, welcome back. I'm hungry again. It's a disorder, I'm sorry. Eat that chicken, roach. The cockroach enjoyed the meat. What? Oh, okay, so that one likes chicken. 
I don't know. I think I was supposed to get several types of meat because it's not giving them enough meat. It's guessing which which is the meat they like. Oh boy. Um, what a good puzzle. It also gives you no clues. One beef. Maybe they just like chicken because it looks like they've eaten a pork and a and a beef. Beef. So I don't know. Now, just to be careful, I'm gonna eat this chicken myself. Aw, oh, shit, we're gonna have to fight at least three pieces of chicken. You gotta hatch it now, it's fine. Okay. Let's feed him the chicken first and get it out of our inventory. I wanna see what happens if we go into that guy's deli and we have no meat. Okay, I want some more meat. Man, Greg Nutt, ever since you won your cushy job on the city council, you've just been getting fat off the taxpayer's dime. Everything about that disgusts me. The roach, the chicken, the milk. You yeah. Chicken and milk? Okay, we're gonna try pork. Okay, he wants the beef. Now, if this doesn't do it for him, then I don't know what he wants. Lamb? Venison? Venison is just forest beef. Ostrich? Like we're a fucking Fuddruckers? He's gone. Yay. Okay, and now we're not going to get attacked by our own food. Hello there. Welcome to Mr. Meat Steakhouse. Hey, you didn't bring your own meat. But you're Mr. Meat. You don't mess with meatless customers if you get my drift. Sexist. So move your bony booty on out of here now. Hey, there's a person behind this ass. Wait. It's not gonna let me Hello pass. There. Welcome to Mr. Meat Steak. You're Mr. Meaty's Steakhouse. I used to have a show on Nickelodeon. It was a horrifying puppet show. It influenced the young Chris Vaughn very greatly. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm gonna fight one single solitary cut of beef. Hi there, welcome to Mr. Meat Steakhouse. False advertising! You don't have any meat. I see you brought your own meat. Because I had to. You can grill it up right here on my good old grill. Takes a lot of I hope you brought your own condiments and ovens, too. I'll I just have plates. Sure well done I opened a store that's just what plates. You for? Get you and your meat up on the now, you hear? Okay, but guess what? You don't have your little gang of backup chickens to help you, Mr. Meaty. Oh, fuck. It's Manny Der Mildred. Guess what? I learned fucking kendo. Yeah. Well, well, well. You're pretty good. Thanks to you, I can't get any more special orders of meat. I that's used one. Great. No more meat. Blame the and roaches. No for you, that's for sure. So scram. Also, this is a terrible restaurant. Let's 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 uh, health inspection time right now, Andy. One, this grill, filthy. Two, you don't supply your own meat. Three, you make the customers cook their own meat. Four, you have not one, but two giant sentient roaches. And I also noticed those roaches weren't wearing hairnets. Ooh, gross. Vegetables aren't that gross, Chris, grow up. I don't want to eat veggies, Andy. Especially these, they look like it's just a giant compost heap. Uh-oh. It's called health food. Oh, is this what that soylent shit is? Okay, we're already reusing the worms. That's fine and dandy. They're probably the easiest to escape of all the enemies. I spoke too soon. The game heard me and they're furious. 
that I would malign worms in such a manner. Level 5 works very hard on their games. Level 5? Team 7. Level what? 5? What is it? Team 5? Team something? Now, there is a Yokai Watch level where you go through a haunted grocery store, so this is very similar, but this is not level 5. Ah! Oh, I, I got slimed. I don't think Erico is winning a Kids' Choice Award anytime soon. Unless kids choose terrible games from the Dreamcast. Daddy, what's a Dreamcast? <laughs> you see, honey, a long time ago, there was this little game called Spawn. And to play, you'd have to have a Dreamcast. Or emulation software. Don't act like you didn't fucking own that game, Chris. Chris wants to seem cool and be like, look, I look at how many games I stole on the internet. He owned that spawn game and he I played still, it all the time. I, I still own that spawn yeah. game. Yeah. It's my prized possession. Todd himself gave it to me. Have you ever found yourself in a haunted grocery store? Hi, I'm Todd McFarlane. Seriously, that pile of slime back there looks like it's ready to teach an important life lesson to the Fraggles. That's like chemical water. Isn't that all water? Isn't water a chemical? This is water, and the yellow is water with electrolytes. Oh, man. Uh, so I'm going to make an educated guess that it's not just a clear walk to the other side of this giant room. So let's go ahead and pop in a, lira uh, a relaxation CD. I wasn't trying to be racist. That was just a slip of the tongue. Who, you, who would you listen to to relax, Andy, in this situation, if you had to fight? Have you ever been in a situation like this before? And if, if so, how'd you get out of it? What did you listen to to relax? I like listening to Steely Dan. I like using a Steely Dan. Uh oh. It's gonna be a guy with a chainsaw. That's gonna be more worms. God damn it. Really, game? Welcome to the worm store. Oh, this, when he said he was making a, a lot of money selling worms, he was right. This is where he was selling them. And then when the market went bust, Cashman was like, I have an overstock of worms. What do I do? See, if he was smart, he would have started a website called overstockworms.com. That's how Jeff Bezos got a lot of his money. People forget Amazon originally was a place you didn't just buy everything. It was just for books and worms. You worms ain't nothing. Check out these worm fighting strats. They're perfect. Maybe not so perfect. You, you dick. Fall, you bastard. Got one. So I can't keep dodging because I'm just gonna keep raising my heart rate. See, it's at 107 and then you dodge once and it raises it by two. Why don't you just wait for it to rain? That usually kills worms. We're indoors, Andy. Where would I get water indoors? Where would you get worms and I, dirt? I would I would like for you to list one place nearby that I'd be able to get water or even some kind of crazy chemical water. The water store. There's a store called Everything But Water. Not there. They probably have water that's like ghoul water, or spooky water, or pumpkin water, hell water. <laughs> Isn't pumpkin water just pumpkin juice? Yes. Like, oh no, Annie, it's pumpkin water. It's water, but fucked up. So Sierra Mist?
I've had it up to here with this worm. Fall, you bastard! Yes! <laughs> Erico, queen of the worms! The spice must flow! Chemical water. Monster love chemicals. I'm, I'm gonna take a little treat to celebrate. I'm gonna eat a salad. Oh, hi! Hi, friend. Annie John Romero. John Romero's behind that thing. Okay, let's look in this. Oh, secrets. See. I can never tell what's a secret and what's the right way. Well, I have a feeling the giant face is the right way. What if it just eats you? That's true. This game is a dick. Tiv, this game is addictive. It's a very good game. Sega, check please. That's right, we're, we're, uh, we're uh, out here building up hype for the Ill Bleed reboot called You'll Bleed. Sega's gonna give us coming out for Christmas. Whoa! Get it? Christmas Yule bleed? Like a Yule? Like a Yule tide? Artificial plasma. Pound it down. Sega's gonna give us a check and then be like, well, that's the last of our money. I guess we're bankrupt now. <laughs> this is only $8. The Warhammer license did not come cheap. Oh, uh, what? What the hell? Teddy Graham face spiders? You know what? Bring back the worms. You guys don't have what it takes to make more enemies. You had dummy man and worms and that was it. What, what am I looking at, Andy? I don't know. They're like muscle figures but of weird worms. I don't remember this episode of Kanikumon. <laughs> we should write uh, Mattel and say, look, you've made muscle figures of street sharks. Why not muscle figures of ill bleed? Oh, a gun. Okay. Okay. So this is Nebraska. This definitely takes place in America, not Japan. Because <laughs> I could just go to the oh, oh, grocery store and pick up a gun. Hold on. Hey, that's a real calculator. Oh, okay. Is that... Is that Donald Dollars? That's Donald Dollars. Michael Money? <laughs> what was his name? M uh, Gordon Gecko. Gordon Gecko <laughs> was played by Michael Money. Blue Memo. A phrase to unlock money. I ate six trees. Okay. <laughs> sure. Wait. No way. I ate six three. That's Oh my god. 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 <laughs> no. No game. You can't do this. This is illegal. Okay, that money's gonna be haunted. That's haunted money. What if it's money that when you use your horror sensor thing on it, it just dissolves? What if it's blood money? No, no, no! Bury me with my money! Okay, he bit the money into us? What? Sure, whatever. Michael, you don't make any sense. Thanks for the caution bomb, which I forget how the fuck to use them. Oh, I think you throw them down. Oh, we'll, we'll try it, because I don't think I've actually- Is that another one. memo on the ground? Oh, there's paper all over it, Never mind. Yeah, but my sixth sense is going- There's something else in here. And I will not leave until I get every item. Unless it's a dummy man. You can keep the dummy man. 
We have already got a gun. And a fucking giant hatchet. I can't believe you stole Michael McDonald's money. Oh, I just had a feeling the boss of this, this level is going to be really hard if they're giving us all this weapon and money. They're giving us all this weapon. I learned how to talk through SNK games. Michael McDonald's money. Now where's your six cents? Is it gone? Our red memo. Cannot tell anyone the number to open the safe, but if I forget them, I made it possible to acquire any time. Why would we need that at all? Why couldn't we just find the blue memo? Well, sorry I wasted everyone's time. In general, just with my life. So, is this an elevator or is it gonna bite us? Technically both. This is the kind of elevator I assume would be in the members of Guar's mansion. If they made enough money to buy a mansion. Let me take that again. This is the kind of design I'd expect on the side of the van uh, that Guar lives in. <laughs> the surviving members of Guar live in. <laughs> oh, that joke made me sad. You shouldn't have made it. Kids World. Oh, fuck. Is this like Child's World? Remember Child's World? Was it was it Child's World was the comp the competitor to uh, Toys R Us in the eighties? I believe so. I was not Wh born. Which means, guess what? We're gonna go back there, and we're gonna convince a very young Tom Cruise to quit his job so that he can join the professional pool circuit. Will we get in trouble if we play Werewolves of London in its entirety? Yes. Okay. A guy's gonna come out of the side and like hit us and it'll take all our money away. Is but that in the, real life. Is that the monster from It Conquered the World? That's Killer Invader, Chris. He looks like uh, Mount Fuji from Kanikumon, speaking of Kanikumon. He looks like a reskin of the tentacles from Day of the Tentacle. Space Gun. $2,000? Are you fucking serious? It's a fucking space gun, Andy. It's worth $2,000. And it does half your health in one hit. That's true. If I, want, if I had a space gun, I'd want to do all of someone's health. Oh, no. Oh, Jeff Andon, it's just fucked us up. And he stole 2000 bucks and knocked me out. Okay. We got to take some heart medicine. We're not in a good way. Oh, all I have left is nitroglycerin. Uh, we're say we're not going to eat that hell cake unless unless I, we absolutely have to. I'd rather drink this hase before biting into my hell cake. That's my wedding hell cake. I have to leave it in the freezer and then take a bite of it on my anniversary. UFO Robo. Okay, who is it? I'm not taking any chances. Magic hat. Happy birthday. Yeah, bullshit. I'm not falling for that. That hat is $9,000. Well, it's actually magic. It's Mr. Miracle. Mr. Miracle is frightening as fuck. Oh, come on. I was looking right at that. It's the cane from Citizen Kane.
I'm not going to have any money left at the end of this playthrough. It was never about the money. Mr. Miracle looks like another failed reinvention of Marilyn Manson. Oh, uh, we got attacked by the Joker. This is no longer an incel friendly let's play. Current events! Oh wait, shit, this isn't coming out till October. <laughs> Fuck! Everyone, continue to remember that article about that movie that released months ago. It's gonna be one of these planes, isn't it? You know that Ultraman standee didn't attack us. That's because Ultraman is friends to everyone who has justice in their hearts. What the... Dogs. Mega, Mega dream. dream. What's behind you? I want to see all the Dogs. boxes. Clash. Clash heat? Oh, Clash heat. That makes a little more sense. That looks awesome. I would assume that's a real game that they're like promoting like a real game, but if not, I would assume like just based on the box art, it's probably a uh, like a top down shoot like a 1941. Well, what's behind you? I want to see the box. It's Dino, Dino. and the one to the left. Why does why does Dino have human arms and proportions? What is that? Gatley? Gatley Panic? Hold on. Let me let me get a better look at Gatley Panic over here. So it I would sucks. Assume, yeah, it would suck. It's like Zoop. You just will never let go of how oh, disappointed you were in Zoop. The Mega Dream is the okay. It's the game system. Yeah. Fucking. Pets Cop Kids World. Ah. Fall down, bear. Well, he fell down. I hate having tree friends. Oh, no. Video games are evil. Don't play them. Oh, God. Jack Thompson was right. If only he didn't fuck with Tim Buckley and his gang of deranged psychos, he'd still be alive to warn us. You always trust sports. No one ever gets hurt playing sports. I lied! Oh no, it's gonna take your eyeball. Is that a bikini skateboard? I'm gonna assume that skateboard shaped like a ghoul's mouth, like the fucking violator is evil. And I would assume correctly. Why oh, are there no. butts? That's sexy doll. Oh, of course, sexy doll. Toy Hunter. It's Johnny Thunder. <laughs> okay. I I'm being Please tell me you can get attacked by sexy doll. Oh, uh, okay, it's from the Incredibles. I want to get attacked by the sexy doll. <laughs> See, they've got Woody from Toy Story. They got, they got Woody from Incredibles. They got, yeah, they got Mrs. Incredible. Helen Parr. Helen Parr. Helen Parr for the course. And Potemkin. Pot Potadon. Potadon. Oh, it's the space one, and he's the cowboy one, and they don't get along. They don't get along. But then they do get along. Even They're though the all three, of are, all three of these are fucking sex toys, because you got the sexy doll, and then you, this is just a very elaborate vibrator. You've got a friend in me. And uh, Captain Cock over here, anatomically correct butthole. You've literally got a friend in me. Ah, some trash salad. Trash salad! That funky salad! <laughs> I'm gonna put the salad where it belongs, in the trash. It's just where salad belongs. In the fucking trash. I'm a meat man. I love salad. You fucking Jordan Peterson ass. Uh-oh, more sex doll. What? I fucking hope these aren't sex dolls, because if they are, Michael Cashman's ghost is going to fucking prison. Hello, I'm Marie. It's Mary. I bet you can't wait to check out my new product. Oh, I can. But meanwhile, why not stop by my corner for a real good time? I can't wait for you to stop by and see me. 
We'll have lots of fun. Oh, God, Promise. Andy, I think it is Don't a sex be doll. Long now. I'll meet you in hide. Oh, no. She wants me to stop by her place for a real good time. Uh, take this, take this video off the internet. Oh no, we're being attacked by this thinly veiled metaphor for consumerism. Okay, we're gonna take some, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna take some, uh... I have a feeling that Mary is not gonna be our friend. I also have a feeling that Mary doesn't know how to pronounce her own name, which is weird. Bleeding a tad, so let's just get rid of that blood. I think we we're good on the heartbeat. I think like around 180 is when we should start worrying. So I don't want to burn my nitroglycerin just yet. Wow, you really came to see me. Sucker. I'm so happy. It's odd because I haven't killed anyone yet today. That is odd. <laughs> don't pay any attention to me. I won't. On second thought. You really should listen carefully to what I have to say right now. I won't. And I won't repeat it. Got it? Nope. Listen up. You and I are going to play a little game of tag. Is this Jigsaw's wife? Tag and you get to run. The battle begins when I tag you. You don't really think it's that simple, do you? Here's the catch. I hid four different Marie cards in four different places within this room. You have to collect all of them to open the gold door. You don't have any time to waste because there are strong spiritual powers coming from all of these Marie dolls. Their power will drain you of your energy in no time. <laughs> you could <can> even <laughs> die. <laughs> Got to be careful, or boom, boom, out through the lights. Now, let's do it. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Could you repeat that? Okay, so we gotta find the f four Marie cards in this. Okay, I think we can do this. We just can't let the doll tag us. Because then the real battle begins, Andy. Always will love you, Murray. Well, that's one. There's one. So they're just on the map. Yeah. It's what not, a game. It's not really a, it's not really a maze. If, Andy, do you really want this to be harder? <laughs> My heart's about to be explode as I'm fighting a fucking killer flying doll. In a, in a, in a maze designed to suck my health away slowly over time. And also she shot me with sodium pentothal. Of course. Whoa! Oh God. Bloody Murray. Okay. She can teleport. That's a little cheap, but guess what? Mary, I brought my own toy and it came with accessories. I forgot you got the gun. I'm very surprised. Uh, is this a toy gun? <laughs> do you think it'd do more damage if it was? Like, to I, I know, I think toy types are immune to toy types. I have to use a fairy type. Oh ah, shit! <laughs> you fucking shot me! It's one of my many weaknesses. Okay, now I'm definitely gonna take some nitroglycerin because uh, my heart rate is going through the roof. Though honestly, I think shooting a small doll with a machine gun would be therapeutic, if not anything. You could pretend it's your dad or one of the women in Star Wars that you didn't like. Going the right way? Yeah, I am. Awesome. Okay, second Mary card. Here we go. Mm. 
Is that Cuddy Mary? Kid Cuddy Mary. Cutie Murray. Like I understand English. I understand it's hard for Japanese game developers to nail the English language because our alphabets are so drastically different. You know, so you have to cut them some slack. But there had to be someone in the sound booth recording the American voices for this game, right? You know, someone yeah. who, who who knows the English language, who knows that M A R Y spells Mary. And you can't be like, oh, well, they need to match the lip sync because uh, dolls' mouths don't move when they talk. And I just realized neither do the human characters in this game. <laughs> you know, Mari, uh, I didn't really like playing with dolls when I was a kid. I was more of a G.I. Joe kind of gal. G.I. Joe's a doll. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe the hatchet would work better. You freaking ugly bitch. Take this. Kill. Kill. <laughs> I kill a monster that's the relative uh, size and intelligence of a small child. But I'm not phased by this at all. Cool. You got to remember that Erico murdered a person who th she thought was just a regular guy. That's true. She did not know that they were a robot. Okay, so yeah, go all the way down and take a right. Go all the way down and run to a monster? Is that what you told me to do? Don't worry, kids. Mary isn't really bleeding. She's a doll. We just filled her with ketchup packets. Whataburger's fancy ketchup packets. Remember that Robin Williams movie, Toys? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> so we, we, we speculated that the wooden doll level was going to be a Richard Band production. I think this is, because we're fighting little dolls with machine guns. Now if we just turn Bloody Mary into a good guy and play laser tag with her for 40 goddamn minutes. How do you people like this Puppet Master 4 joke? And then we'll reuse the footage in five. Little soldiers with little guns. Little tanks. No bigger than your thumb. Ow, stop it. There's a doll to blow your daddy up. A doll for your mommy too. Take that. Yeah. Tear off your own head, doll. Take a right. Uh, that's a left. I'm gonna take a coagulant real quick. Also see if I have any food. Oh shit. I don't wanna I don't wanna bite the hell cake just yet. I I don't think that's the right way. I mean, eventually. I can still go that way. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's put let's put the pieces in we have already. I think that it's weird that that's someone's job to animate that. Uh, I mean, yeah, because this game came out a while back. Okay, last piece.
Oh, this is Bloody Mary. Bloody Murray. Bloody Murray. We've, Bloody been calling, we've been calling her by the wrong name this entire game. It's Bloody Murray. <laughs> so, wait. So, almost every person we've run into in, like, the beginning of the game yeah. is a monster in another level. Yes. Got Dummy Man. That guy is like... Yeah, the woodsman. You've uh, The lady who runs the hotel... Uh, for some reason in the worm level, she shot us with a gun and then never appeared ever again. I hate to lose. But hey, you won. So that's that. I dare you to come to my next fun fill corner. I doubt Don't that it's filled with me fun. To keep my trap shut. <laughs> I hope you're not using save states like a dirty fucking cheater. This is supposed to be a pro elite gamer stream. Locked. Whoa! Hello! This toy corner is where we'll play hide and seek. Can we play Halo 2 I instead? Hide. You find me. Simple, right? But if you think I'm hiding somewhere, just survey that area with the A button. But if you scan the wrong spot, you'll be shocked. Quite literally. So be careful. I'm going to hide now. Close your eyes. Don't peek. When I say ready, open your eyes and start looking. Okay, close your eyes. Are you ready? Not yet. Are you ready? Now I'm ready. Is that the Virtue Fighter announcer? Okay. Oh, thank God. With the help of Amazon, I'm gonna put this store out of business. I know I don't want to eat the hell cake, because there might be an alternate ending where he turns into a real boy. Damn. Wow, I have a lot of I have a lot of adrenaline. Okay, so she's hiding somewhere. <laughs> she's in the oven. Just turn it on and kill her. Nope. Mama house. Huh. So I guess the button's not going to help us at all. Whoa! It's just a Futurama rerun, Erico. Calm down. Crazy violin. Okay, see, this is why you want to change your refrigerator's water filtration system every two months. Stradivarius, more like Stradivilence. Like, there's no way to... Are we just supposed to keep guessing till we cat? die? Okay, oh, I guess Mr. the cat. Boss. No, I just want to see the cat. That's Sandra, of course. Of course I wouldn't be in Sandra, Chris. It's the blob! I don't know how she could hide in glasses. Of course she's not in Big Mama's house. Is she in Big you Mama's house too? Ah, oh, for a second I thought it was going to turn to Gary Newman. Uh, how, how did you find me? Trial and error. Ah, shit. Kid, learn to lose with some dignity. 
And how to use a machine gun. So this is why Toys R Us went out of business, right? I kind of wish there was more to talk about during sections like this, but really it's just strafe around the enemy and shoot them. I guess that's what this game has in common with Quake. Other than Quake being fun. Interesting level design. Trent Reznor. Well, maybe Trent worked on this game too. Who knows? The level kind of reminds me of the Galdek Space Hour, I guess. Super Galdek Space. Game, you're not giving us much to comment on, could you? Yeah. Speed this fight up a little bit? Yeah. Can we, can we get to the next? There's only so many haunted doll jokes we could make. We've already stolen so many of the McElroy's bits. I, I feel like if we... I stole their bits. I stole their I bits. Slept, I, I crept into their room late at night and I stole their bits. Remember when Justin said he was going to get a vasectomy? That's when I stole his bits. I was gonna make a joke about stealing their bits on Twitch, but they might be the only three people I don't think have Twitch accounts. Oh, uh, the Menendez brothers. They also don't have, so that's five. Whoa, you are really something. I give up. You win. Roll credits. Your reward is all the treasure you want from this room. So a bunch of cheap don't plastic furniture. Nice. Yourself just yet. I'll be waiting for you in the next room. So you don't give up, and we don't win. Thank you, Mary. You fucking little slut. I'm out of here. I don't want to be in this toy world no more. We already opened these. Oh, now there's a key though. Okay. Anything else? Dummy man. Okay, so if we make it out of here, we're making 200 grand. Maybe we could start getting surgery for the other characters so we don't have to just keep restarting every time we die. Could you imagine you go to a fucking department store and they have all this? You're here again. This will be our last chance to play together. Look, it's a jump rope. All you gotta do is jump into that jump rope as it's spinning around and use that A button to jump. I've played Mario you Odyssey, jump lady. Ten times without missing, you pass the test. <laughs> but if you get snagged in the rope just once, a poison thorn on the rope will kill you. How do you like that, Buster? You scared? I don't like it <laughs> at all. Wagon, and let's begin. Seems like the difficulty curve of this game just took a spike, but at the weirdest time. Okay, uh, ten times without dying once. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> Holy shit! What the? I lived? You're here again. This will be our last chance to play together. That's a lie. Look, it's a jump rope. Did it really negatively impact any of my stats? I'm not sure. I didn't have one of those items that let me die once. I'm pretty sure because she's that item. <laughs> Maybe that's why she hates me so much, is because I let her die in that fucking factory level. And there I go. I 
feel like we're in Ed Boon's nursery. One. Two. Three. I can't believe we're gonna have to do a montage of us failing at this jump rope. <laughs> On the first try. So, uh, do you think Van Halen, they, do they, do you think they're litigious? They slowed it down! They slowed it down! Did you see oh, that? Oh, that's deceptive. The fucking bastards! Mary, you fucking bitch! I'm getting the rhythm. I'm getting the rhythm. Mario Party 11 sucks. No, Mary Party. I don't know why you added the O on the end. <laughs> Mario. Ha ha! Nice! One try. Take that, Mari. I hate to say this, but you... Beat me fair and square. Don't tell her about the save states. Such a loser. You can take as much treasure as you want at the exit. Later, Gator. That killed my soul a little bit. The hardest obstacle you've had in this game is jump rope. And our prize is Mary's magic stick. Which... I don't even want to know what the fuck that is, considering the sex doll that we saw earlier. What was it called? Sexy doll? Are you going back for more jump rope? Yeah, I'm kind of addicted to it now. It's like Dark Souls. At first, it's so punishing that you don't even want to get into it, but then you realize, no, there's something here. Is that Castlevania? Do you remember that there was supposed to be a castle game for the Dreamcast and it got canceled and the Dreamcast was like on, on like shaky ground? Yeah. Do you think if we walk through this this painting, we'll unlock the lost Castlevania game? Do they hit it in ill bleed? What? It's just a painting. Never mind. Oh, you're right, maybe I gotta jump in it. Ba 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 ba. Nope. <laughs> ba 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 ba. Wah, where's, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> where's that big titty the lady just lounging around in a in a treasure chamber who's gonna help us go through this painting? Princess Peach? No, from on Orlando or whatever. Ha ha, Mary Stick cast a magic spell. Okay, I wonder what insipid child's puzzle is going to be in here. This is more of those ass dolls. We just, you know what's funny? We just got through playing hide and seek and jump rope with a literal little girly doll. And I don't think that is as childish as the whole I ate six trees thing. <laughs> I think that's genius. Oh no. Blackjack six swan. Okay, 21. 21. Six. One. Okay, Andy. Oh, fuck. The fucking spider grams. But this time I have a gun. It doesn't work very well. These these look like something that Freddy Krueger would like summon up in his dream world, akin to like the dogs that have his face. Yeah. But he even he would be like, nah, that's too much. No one's going to buy this. Okay, I'm and about they didn't, to die. That's why Ill Bleed didn't sell well. Ill Bleed sold too well. That's why it's hard to get. It's, it's fair. Because everyone has a copy. Nobody wants to give up their copy because they love that jump rope minigame so much. That jump rope minigame is going to be Evo next year. Just you wait. Okay, we better take the nitroglycerin. By the way, people at home, I'm aware that I can't pronounce the word nitroglycerin. I'm aware that I can't pronounce the word nitroglycerin. 
Nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin. The things Don't I do let fall the off. days go by. Glycerin. Is that it? It was calculator? Yeah, that's what it was last time. It was the calculator, but I want to see if there's anything else in here. Because I'm kind of... I'm kind of angry if it is 21. Six, one, one. Six, one. Where are you getting the six? Woo! Sick. Sick, six, okay. 21, 21 six, yeah. blackjack. You want to play 21? One. I got 22. Uh, you're out. No comment. God damn it, Skatulu! I just wanted a rupee bag, you fuck. Maybe that's what they look like before they lose all their skin. Okay, there is something else in here. It's probably a suicide note or... I don't know. Some kind of thing The way to solve the puzzle I just solved without it. Well, we, we knew what it was based on the last one. Yeah, but like, the last one was like, make sure you look around for clues, and it's like, dude, we already opened the safe. Ah, Erol Magazine, of course. That's what I keep in my library. Okay, so expect this boss to be fucking hard. Because we've got a ton of money, and a machine gun, and a hatchet. And Mary Stick. No, we use Mary Stick. No! Is this one also gonna have a calculator? I wanna do more puzzles. Hoxton! Blow the safe so we can get out of here! Okay, so, Andy, you're a writer, right? Uh, yeah. Help me understand the connection, whether it's literal, figurative, metaphorical, an allegory. How do we go from greedy grocery store owner to spider with man's face? Well, the katakana for money uh -huh. and spider is actually very similar. Are you serious? No, not oh, at all. I don't are, know. I don't, you are a piece. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of old anime, and I was really I, about to buy that as I the example. I would not be surprised because that is a lot of how Japanese sense of humor is. Yeah, but I have no evidence to state that. Um, I just thought in Japan they use spiders for currency. I mean, they love beetles, so why not? They love the beetles. What's ah. that? Is that a pile of money? Well, look, right? he, ha he has... Nope. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think you can pick things up during combat. No, to the left. Okay. Keep, or, keep or, turning left. Keep turning okay. left. Okay. What's that? Money stairs. Money stairs. Oh, no. Don't let the Joker in here. Oh, no. I'm going to burn the money stairs. Master Bruce, some people want to see the world burn. I, I don't know I, what character I am. I love seeing the world burn. Master Bruce, some people want to see the world burn. Oh, it's Martin. Kick his ass. Shoot. What this is not that fucking this dog from Silent Hill. Yeah, what do you want? I'm working here. Ooh, Jessica, it's you. No, no, no. That guy it, needs to fine. use some freaking huh? moisturizer Work? on his hands. <laughs> I'm not working. No way. Hey, so why the call, hon? Sure, sure, really? I don't know. I bet you tell that to Honey, you're aware I'm an animatronic, no right? Uh, sure, babe, tonight? Oh, I'm there. You can count on it. There's only one more visitor to deal with. Yeah. They program this robot to have a sex life? <laughs> 
Hi, my name is Michael Scary Town, or whatever the character's name is supposed to be. And I want the animatronics at Illbleed to be run by other animatronics. But I also want them to be sentient and have a fulfilling life outside of work, including relationships, friendships, and hobbies. That way, when Eriko kills them, it's kind of like she's committing an actual murder. Oh, you can't- oh, I can't just shoot the guy. Lay off. He's trying to get his dick wet. He's trying to get his robot- No, Andy, if he gets his dick wet, it'll rust off. It's... That's not how robots have sex, Andy. They, they gotta plug into each other's USB ports. And then they do the hunka chunka in cyberspace. The hunka chunka? No. There's not- No. This can't be it. Oh my god, what if the rest of this game is like Metal Slug? <laughs> I just get this giant money spider. Now go kill Martin. Cool. Okay, I just realized what this reminds me of. This right here is Ghost in the Shell Halloween DLC. <laughs> This is four kids Ghost in the Shell. This is four kids Ghost in the Shell. This is the Ghost in the Shell if instead of like their cool little robot mech spider tanks, it was some it was like a real Ghostbusters toy. That's the ghost. In later, the shell. later she has to fight a talking toilet. Okay, so he can't leave. Can he Whoa! He can jump. Can I kill myself with a spider? I wouldn't. Why'd you do that? Well, I'm the boss now. I have to be fair. I have to attack Erica. We've switched roles. Fair is fair. Look, that guy is up there. He's on his break. I promise I'd cover for him. I'm going to have to be my own boss battle. Okay, let's try climbing up the web. See what that does. Oh, okay. Spiders hate webs. It's a known fact. I can just bash my own brains in. Why wouldn't she just use the spider to go through every other level? Yeah, that's what I would have done. Mm. Ah, Look how disturbed he is. Fire. I the fire! Uh, sorry, I got a flyer here. Crap. I'll call you back. Love ya. Well, as much as a robot is capable of love. We have a code nine here. I repeat, code nine. This is an emergency. Cashman's on fire, and the flames are spreading fast. There's no time. We need to evacuate the visitor now. Roger that. We're activating the emergency escape unit. <coughs> hey, you! I'm gonna pull down the ladder. You gotta get out of here. Quick! You must not have that many codes if a giant purple spider with the face of a grocery store owner bursting into flames because someone stole the remote control is only your ninth code. <laughs> code one, ran out of TP in the bathrooms. Code two, ran out of ketchup in the cafeteria. Uh, codes three through nine, all giant spider related. <laughs> code monkeys like Cheetos. Remember that? Go Let's talk about Code Monkey. That was it. That was it. That was it. It said clear. That's a. I know it's a bit of an anticlimax. That we fight this giant money spider, and then the game is like, we weren't smart enough to program AI. Do it yourself. But do it if you think you'd be such a good boss fight. Do it yourself, you ingrates. Well, that was ill be uh, ill bleed. I'm drunk. I that was ill bleed. <laughs> They Ill know what they're watching. <laughs> Let's play Ill Beats. Get out of here. I don't know, should we celebrate our newfound wealth with some surgery? Some, some, some surgery. Surgery. Gotta get a haircut. I mean, we won the mega prize at the grocery store. And I'm gonna see if they can make Erico six inches taller, that way she can do a slam dunk.
Now I wonder if we're doing two operations at once, are they just gonna stack us on top of each other like particle board? Well, we died. Well. <laughs> Okay, so now we have two good characters. <laughs> well, join us next time on Ill Bleed. We're gonna see what tricky traps and gruesome goofs <laughs> this game has for us. Good night, everyone.
No, no, I don't need this. No, I don't want that. No.